Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios for game one of round one of your 2019 NBA playoff game highlight commentary. And we'd begin in the city of brotherly love, but somebody must have been blasting Biggie because... We're Brooklyn at! We're Brooklyn at! We're Brooklyn at! Because the Nets done turned the 76ers home into their own as they would begin to rub their nutsack all over Philadelphia. And just look at the statistics. Embiid missed his last six shots. Ben Simmons only accounts for five points. It's as if they started shooting Space Jam 2 a little bit early and the Nerd Lux done took the 76ers stars powers. But in the second half, the 75 plus ones would begin to make their comeback like Tiger Woods at the Masters. Look at this Euro step from Joel Embiid. Do you even consider that a Euro step? Let's just call it an African step. But with 17 minutes left to play, D'Angelo, Ice, Rorto, Russell, and friends would then decide it's enough for the 76ers as they would begin to pull away. All of Brooklyn would walk into Philadelphia, eat a Philly cheesesteak, ring the Liberty Bell, get their dick sucked by Ken Jenner and walk out with a W for the Brooklyn Nets as they would take game one. We take our cameras north of the border to the land of sensitive pussies as we have the Toronto Raptors taking on the Orlando Magic. This game was neck and neck like a conjoined twin. Kawhi Leonard was connecting on threes. Mark Gasol was connecting on threes. Danny Green was connecting on threes. Even Fred Van Leet was connecting on threes. Pascal C. Aiken wasn't connecting on threes, but he was scoring too. Everybody but Kyle Lowry was scoring for the damn Raptors. Orlando Orlando would certainly make it interesting for a 7th seed as Leonard would make his way into the paint, connect on a jump shot to give Toronto a 3 point lead, but while they were neck and neck, Pascal Siakam would score in the paint to give him a 2 point lead. But Jonathan Isaac would connect on a 3, give the Magic the lead, Evan Forner would steal the ball, head into the paint and give the Magic a 3 point lead. Kawhi Leonard looking like Ski Master Slump God as he'd take a step back and tie up the game, then he would fade towards his left and give Toronto a 2 point lead. But with under a minute left to play, DJ Augustine would even up the score then he would go to the car dealership say I don't want automatic I got the clutch in the car bang in a three with 3.4 left to play Toronto would inbound the ball and Kawhi to tie up the game it's gonna be <laughs> Tom Brady must have got a hand on that basketball. Raptors lose! Up next, we head to Golden State where the Warriors are taking a golden shower all over the Los Angeles Clippers. Even Draymond, I shoot like I'm wearing a book bag green, is connecting on threes. Then if you see Steph Curry's shot go in like this, bounce all over one side of the rim and go in, you might as well just unplug your console because it's about to get ugly. He'd start to take a piss all over the Clippers. Look at the pick, though. Get your bitch ass on the floor. Steph Curry would go on to score 38 points, catch 15 boards, connect on eight three-point shots, and pass Ray Allen for the most playoff threes made in NBA history. Today was not a good day to get your hair cut in Los Angeles because them Clippers was fucked up. <laughs> And Kevin Durant would shove Patrick Beverly for attempting to brush his hair. They both get ejected. And I've always wondered, how did Kevin Durant tell his mom she's the real MVP if she never brushed his hair? That don't make no damn sense. Up next, we take our cameras to Denver because Paul Millsap just got dunked on from the east to the west. Back to the east. Back to the west. This game was relatively close. Lamarca charges with the perimeter shot. Then you had Nikola Jokic would put it in from inside the paint. But the fourth quarter is when it started to really get interesting as DeMar DeRozan would extend the Spurs lead to six, but the Nuggets would answer with back-to-back -back threes and cut their deficit down to one. But the Spurs would answer unlike someone who speaks your language on a customer service line as DeMar DeRozan would connect on a deep shot and Bertans would extend the Spurs lead back to six. But the Chicken Nuggets refused to die as Harris would connect on a deep two. DeMar DeRozan would answer and and push the lead back up to five. Jamal Murray would find himself by the baseline and cut the deficit down to one. And with a chance to give the Nuggets the lead, he'd... <laughs> And on their next possession, Murray would have the ball stripped away as the Nuggets would go on to lose to the San Antonio Spurs by five. Up next, we go to the House of the Leprechauns as the Boston Celtics take on the Indiana We Don't Have Victor Oladipo Paces. This game was the epitome of a Genjutsu because through the first half, you thought the game was close. Only when you blinked, you saw Indiana was down by 15. You know the game over when the generic 2K big man Al Horford making threes. Just get off the court. The Boston Celtics walking away with the W. Next, we'd head to the state that brought us Nike as the Oklahoma City Thunder take on the Portland Trailblazers. CJ Steve Urkel McCollum would put it in, but Dennis Shorter would turn into a hitman top and lay it up for two. Damian Lillard would connect on a three from deep, much like a Mandingo 
Chicago Warriors appendage in the vulva region of Amber Rose. Always angry, Russell Westbrook would cut their deficit down to four and Paul George would connect on a three to cut the deficit to one. But Lillard would connect from deep again and extend the lead back to four. Much like a vegan on Thanksgiving, Ennis Cantor can't return to Turkey, but he can return to the paint as he'd extend the lead to six. Very next possession, Paul Hairline George would connect on a three, cut the deficit in half. Damian Lillard would be fouled. He'd go to the free throw line, connect on both his free throws. OKC would get a point inside the paint, cut the deficit back down to three. Lillard sent back to the line. Again, he'd connect on both his free throws, and Russell Westbrook would get the inbound and say, fuck it, let's go home and play again in game two as Portland would finally win a playoff game for the first time in three years. Up next, we got the Bucks taking on the Pistons. And somebody explain to me what sort of Genjusu is this. The Bucks scored and they gave two points to the Pistons. Where they do that at? But it was all downhill from here the minute Giannis scored in the paint just now. Because Detroit ain't stand a chance. Somebody should have summoned the spirit of Ron Artest, Steven Jackson, and Ben Wallace. Because they'd have to start an impromptu malice in the palace to stop what was happening to Detroit. Look at Blake Griffin. He concerned the shit. He know he don't want to be on the floor. Because the West Waxing has begun and the janitors are the Bucks. And then Giannis took off from damn near the free throw line. They had the Pistons participating in the Jeffrey Dahmer necrophilia challenge because they may have been dead. But somehow, they're still getting fucked. You're down by 40. Somebody call the goddamn EMTs. Unplug their controller. <laughs> Last but not least, we head out to Houston, home of Step Back Poppy, as James Harden would connect on a three. This man makes baskets look so effortless. He could practice abstinence and he'd still find a way to score. Ella Fitzgerald is rolling over in a grave the way Utah making the Jazz look. Utah was supposed to have one of the better defenses in the league and Capella just kept dunking all over him. Watch the Step Back again for three. Then Capella went on a dunking fest. Let me get an alley-oop from Harden. Oh, wait a minute, an alley-oop from Paul. I'll get another alley-oop from Harden. Then step back poppy would get him again this is ridiculous and the thrashing simply would not stop utah got treated like a man trying to pay for sex with cardi b you came in with bright eyes and the only thing that happened was you got victimized for the utah jazz detroit pistons oklahoma city thunder indiana pacers denver nuggets los angeles clippers Toronto raptors and the philadelphia 76ers take out your metro car and get aboard the L train. Hold my nuggets. Suck my dick. Yes, mama.